Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic, medical device reportables. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If this is your first executive series video, please go back and watch the introduction. You can check out the video description below for links to any supporting information and a summary of the material. In the executive series, we have a standard agenda which covers four main areas. You can see those in the progress bar below. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to get those three bonus questions. Our requirement, medical device reportable, comes directly from 21 CFR Part 803 and ISO 1345 Section 8.2.2 and 8.2.3. Medical device reportable in five words. Report complaints with patient injury. Globally, medical device reportables are called adverse events. In the US, these are called MDRs. This is not to be confused with the EU MDR, which is the European Union medical device regulation. When your medical device is used on a patient, if that patient or practitioner is hurt, injured, or killed, or your medical device malfunctioned, and the practitioner or the patient could have been hurt, killed, or injured, then you must report that complaint to the FDA within the timelines established in Part 803. The key date for MDRs is your awareness date, or the date you become aware of the complaint. Once that date happens, we have very strict timelines for reporting that information to the FDA. Those dates are 5 days, 10 days, and 30 days. And the reporting days comes down to the risk of the actual MDR. If someone was killed or there's immediate threat to public health, it's five days. If it's just your standard MDR, then it's 30 days. But the requirements are clearly defined in Part 803. So how do I know this requirement is working? Well, first, all of my complaints are reviewed for reportability. Second, I report all complaints within the established timelines as defined in Part 803. And then finally, if the FDA sends me any requests for additional information, I answer those within the required timelines. How do I know it's not working? Well, first, I'm not reviewing my complaints for reportability. And then finally, I'm filing my MDRs late. Now for those three bonus questions. Did we file any MDRs late within the last two years? If yes, what were they and why did we file them late? Second, what's our procedure for processing complaints and ensuring reportability. And then finally, did we have any deaths or serious injuries that were five day reportables to the FDA? If yes, what were they? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you have any questions, please send me an email at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.